great crowd in the house tonight. It was great, great to see everybody, and I appreciate the warm welcome. I want to talk tonight about Illini Pride. Not the organization, although I think you guys are great, but the emotion, which I think is powerful. And I want to tell you a story. And the story actually takes place in this very room. It was 19 years ago, almost to the day, that I was a freshman football player here at the University of Illinois. And I had just finished my first training camp, and I was beat up, and I was sore, and I was tired. And all of a sudden, it was time to start class. And back then, we started class on a Tuesday. My first class was at 8 a.m. on a Tuesday. I was a freshman. I didn't know any better. <laughs> Classical Civilization 115. <laughs> Greek and Roman mythology. Didn't know anything about it. But I had heard through the grapevine that it was the most popular class on campus. So I was excited to see what all the fuss was about. I walked in here about 5 to 8. And this place was packed. 1,200 students, every seat was taken, except the front row, of course. And so I come in those doors, and I immediately look around, try and find a place to sit, and I ended up sitting right where you are, front row on the aisle. And that's where I sat every day for 14 weeks. And I could not, for the life of me, understand why 1,200 people, almost as many people as I had enrolled in my entire high school, we're taking this class. And then a professor walked out here on the stage, and I knew instantly why it was so popular. The professor's name was Richard Scanlon, and he had been here for decades. By that point, he was nearly 70 years old. He was smaller, maybe 5'8", five, 5'9", five, skinny, had a full head of bright white hair, big glasses, and a great smile. And he could tell a story like nobody I had ever met. And for the next 14 weeks, I fell in love with mythology. I felt like I was Icarus's best friend, like I had dinner with Zeus, like I went swimming with Poseidon. And this class met Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 in the morning to 9.15. And on Thursdays, about 10 minutes left in class, he would disappear backstage. And just a few moments later, he'd come back out dressed as his alter ego, the priest of Apollo. Now, I don't know what the Greeks thought the priest of Apollo looked like, but Professor Scanlon's version of the priest of Apollo looked a lot like Professor Scanlon, except when he came out, he had a cape on and an old sweatshirt with a felt letter A that it looked like maybe his wife had sewn on the front of it. And I think, although I can't remember for sure, I think he had a plunger as a scepter. <laughs> and he would walk out here confidently to the, to the middle of this stage. And the priest of Apollo had a lot of gifts, a lot of powers. One of them was he could see the future. But before he would use his powers for the benefit of our class, he insisted that our class engage in a cheer. And it was the cheer that all of you have heard, I-L-L-I-N-I. -I. Everybody knows the way the cheer works. But he refused to look into his crystal ball and tell us the future until we made that cheer at such a level with so much enthusiasm and so much passion that it met his level of acceptance. And so we would do it over and over and over again until we were as passionate as he felt we needed to be and then, and only then, he would predict the outcome of that weekend's football game. <laughs> now, the priest of Apollo here at the University of Illinois was, needless to say, a big Illini fan. And so he did not care if we were playing the Minnesota Golden Gophers or the Minnesota Vikings. We were going to win. Every time. In his eyes, we were going to be victorious. And thankfully, nobody was really keeping score. Well, if you go back and you look in your record books, 
You will see in 1997, my freshman year, 11 times our football team took the field. And 11 times we returned to the locker room defeated. Yet every week, he walked out here to the middle of this stage, right where I'm standing, and predicted that we were going to win and led our entire class, 1,200 students strong, in a cheer. And so when I think about Illini pride, I think about Professor Scanlon. And I came back to campus many years after I graduated, and I, I went and found him. I hadn't seen him in a decade. And I thanked him, because as a football player, going through what at that point in time had been the most difficult three months of my life, his willingness to remain confident and optimistic and passionate about our athletic program made all the difference to me. It was an oasis of hope in a very difficult stretch. Now, I tell you that story because I think for all of you, we all need to define for ourselves what Illini pride means. We have a lot of work in front of us. And over the course of this fall, we will be announcing bold plans to celebrate our past, to solidify our present, and to build for our future. But in order for those plans to take place, we need everybody. Everybody in this room, everybody in the Illini Nation. As I have said many times, Nobody needs to do everything. Everybody needs to do something. So ask yourself how you intend to show your Illini pride. Show up in the stadium. Go to our competitions. Make our venues the most intimidating places for our opponents to play in the conference. We need that from you. For some people, it might mean opening up their wallets or writing a check, supporting our scholarship fund or contributing to our building projects. For, for other people, it might be a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, wearing your orange and blue on Fridays so the people understand which team you're rooting for, or, or flying an Illini flag outside your apartment or your house. Regardless of what you do, do something. I've heard our athletic program described as a sleeping giant so many times, and it is. Think for a moment. We have over 40,000 students on this campus. We have nearly 500,000 living alumni. We live in the fifth most populous state in the Union, and we have a tremendous athletic tradition. We have been a sleeping giant. But my message to all of you, it's time we wake up the giant. And in order for that to happen, we need everybody in this room. I've had the chance to travel around this state and around our country talking about Illinois athletics. I've seen the enthusiasm in people's eyes. I have felt the fire coming from them and spreading across our fan base. We need that fire to continue. We need it to, to resonate in this room across our campus, and all across the Illini Nation. Because if we unify, and we energize, and we activate all those people that I just talked about, there is no limit, no limit, to what we can accomplish. And I think so often people say, I'll do it later, I'll do it after we're successful. I'll do it after we win the Rose Bowl, or after we go to the Final Four. That's not good enough. We need to do it now. We need you now to help us get to that Final Four, get to that Rose Bowl. The investment has to happen on the front, not on the back. So ask yourself what it means to you to have a Lion Eye Pride. Because when I sat in this room and I saw that professor standing on this stage, that embodied it to me. Optimism, confidence, passion. Now I'll leave you with this. 
And this is where I need your help. Professor Scanlon died in 2009. He was 81 years old. He was a friend, he was a professor, and he was a tried and true Illini. And I haven't been in this room in 15 years, but I think it would be very hard for me to leave the stage without paying some tribute to his memory. So we're going to do three rounds, each one louder than the one before, of our beloved cheer, and I might just make a prediction for the football game on Saturday. All right? Here we go. ILO. 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 Fantastic. And here's the prediction. Here is the prediction. Our line and I are going to win. And they're going to win big. And we're going to keep winning in football and basketball and swimming and soccer and volleyball and all of our sports. Because that's what we do here. That's what the Align I do. We go out and what do the t-shirts say? We will win. So be proud to be an Align I. I thank you so much for all that you do. Let's go Align I. Thank you. Yeah.